The number of short-term rentals in the Valley is up 40% this year. That's according to AirDNA, and there's more supply across the country. Colleen Sakura shows us how that's affecting both travelers and short-term rental operators. More short-term rentals in the Valley. Short-term rental game is getting highly saturated in the Valley. And Andrew LeBaron, founder of short-term rental management company BuyMoreTime.com, says it's getting competitive. Short-term rentals are uh, getting a lot more difficult to fill up. Occupancies are starting to drop a little bit. Competition pushing operators to offer different options for travelers. There's a lot of hosts out there on specifically platforms like Airbnb.com that allow early cancellations, no penalties, uh, no cleaning fees you're seeing. I mean, people are getting pretty creative in, in, with their offering. Creativity among now about 7,000 short-term rentals in the Valley, according to AirDNA, which analyzes short-term rental data. Compared to 2019, uh, it's been an increase of about 90 percent. Jamie Lane, chief economist at AirDNA, says travel is still up and supply up too. What people are paying per day for an Airbnb or Verbo isn't going up as much or going down in some places around the U.S. A lot of that is uh, affordability. Uh, so with how much they had increased so quickly, uh, now there's starting to be some pushback uh, in terms of how high those rates have gone. Good news for travelers, tougher for operators. You're lucky if you're increasing rates at all this year. Um, and I mean, even with I mean, two or three more years of minimal rate increases, the profitability of an average short-term rental will still be higher than it was in 2019. LeBaron finding some rental operators are abandoning the short term. Right now, we're seeing a lot of people decide, hey, maybe just a long-term furnished rental off of Airbnb.com might be just as profitable, if not, you know, um, more profitable sometimes than having an Airbnb. Colleen Sikora, 12 News.